Hi all, uh, in this tutorial, we'll see how to create syllabus repository. So here in top menu, we have option called learning. Under learning, there is a first option, syllabus repository. The moment I select syllabus repository, here I can see all the grades and under each grade, I can create subjects to manage syllabus repository. So let's uh, uh, take an example for, uh, we wanna like to create uh, syllabus repository for grade two. So I can see the grade two. If grade is not exist, I can use this button, add grade plus grade to create grades. Okay, so let's say grade two is there. I just need to click on add subject. Let's start with math. So math is a subject. I create a subject math. Similar way, I can create subjects English. So I can, I should create all the subjects which are there part of grade two. The most important part here is we are creating syllabus repository for grade two. It might, it might possible that we have, let's say class two A, class two B, class two C. For two, class two, we could have a three section. So we need not to create a syllabus repository, three different syllabus repository for class two A, two B and two C. We just going to create a common repository for grade two. Okay, so let's say math is a subject. So when I click on math on my right hand side, I can see uh, a syllabus. So as of now, there is a no syllabus information available. So basically syllabus, it means the index of the syllabus. It means chapters and topics, or someone say unit and topics. So to create chapter or unit, I just need to click on add chapter. The moment click there, the one new chapter has been created. I can click here and change the name. Okay, so I need to uh, I need to click on enter to save the data. So chapter one is created. The same way I can create as many as chapter as we need. So chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, or unit two, unit three, unit four. Just need to click here to create the new unit. And don't forget to you know uh, if you, if you if you want to rename, just click here and type your chapter name and don't uh, forget to enter the moment you enter it will automatically save okay so we have created four chapters now we wanted to create topics under chapter so using this plus button we can create topics in the chapter so let me, let me click on plus button and it give me option to create new topic so if i click on add topic button it's created new topic so let me create one two and three topics let's say topic t1 i just click here t2 and let's say topic t3 okay yeah uh, i'm just giving a very quick example otherwise uh, uh, it's take a little time to put a proper name for chapter and put proper name for topics okay therefore building in a syllabus repository is a long-term process and it's a one-time process once we have syllabus repository set we can use every year okay so i have created chapter one topic one topic two topic three uh, under the uh, chapter one the same way i keep on creating a topics under each chapters okay well so now i can see i have one, two, three, four chapter. And first chapter having three subtopics. One, two, three. Second chapter having two subtopic, one and two. So this is the way I can see the number. Now, very most important part is that is how to describe, uh, how to go details about this topic. Details means uh, what is my learning strategy? What is what are the books I can refer? How many hours I can take up to learn this topic, to teach this topic? Okay, so all these details are here. If I need to click on edit button, I can I can enter the my methodology for topic one. I can give assignments, which uh, probably I should give after covering this topic one. Okay, uh, I can see initiatives. What are the initiatives I have taken to deliver this topic? My methodology is different, my initiatives are different. Okay, any any tools or visit associated with these chapters we can put there. Okay, 
any workshops so basically this fields are customized as per school requirement someone want to like to put learning outcomes the learners uh, uh, the, the learners activity the resources so as per our syllabus methodology and schools choice these fields are customizable you can enter the data and just click on save button to save this uh, information which is related to a particular topic okay moreover there are two other facilities where we can attach the web links so let's say there are some good videos are there or good uh, web resources are there so i can attach uh, here with this topic and the same way i can attach the documents as well i can attach the ppt or worksheet or any other related documents with this topic i can close here and again click here i can see the information okay so this is the way we can manage uh, chapters and topics in order to create syllabus repository in next tutorial we will see how to download this uh, created syllabus and how to import the syllabus as well